Hey y'all, you like old tractors? Got a real nice, uh, I guess you, survivor is what you could call it. So uh, let's turn you around and let you have a look at it. Here we have what I am told is a 1967 Ford 3000. And once I give you a look around, oh, there's, there's my corn that my customer dropped off to me. Thank you, appreciate the corn. It's pretty looking corn too, by color. It's real sweet looking. Anyway, uh, 1967 Ford 3000. I'm going to call it a survivor because this little baby is original looking to me. Uh, looks like the old timer that had it tried to address the fender rust and hit it with a little bit of tsh, tsh, you know, at least that's what Derek calls it. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, in really nice shape. It's even got the original seat, and it's, it's not bad. It's still kind of soft. But, uh, anyway, here you go. Uh, customer said that it had been sitting for several years. It was their father's. He passed. It was in their barn. They wanted a tractor, and they wanted to get this one running. So, after... Uh, a new fuel tank. I don't know if you can see, you know, where I put a fuel tank in it because the other one was rusted up. And uh, an injection pump. This little sweetheart runs like a gym. Uh, give you a little side shot. And look at there. It's even got the grill still in it. Other than this, you know, that's, that's not too bad. These guys are usually the first to bite the dust. You know, bush hogging tree limbs and you know, Grandpa didn't see the fence covered up, and he hit a post, and you know how it goes. They just tear them things all to crap. But uh, we'll lift the bold bonnet here. See, she's pretty good looking under the hood. I'd show you under there, but, you know, wing nut's gone. I don't have a half-inch wrench. But anyway, you get the idea. But, uh, yeah, this little, this little baby runs great. So, uh, just wanted to walk you around. I don't have my keys with me. It's the end of the day. Shop's locked up. Maybe we'll do a startup video at some other time. Still got decals on it, y'all. Look, still got the original decals in there. They're in really good shape. But anyway, to show you this pretty little 3000, you don't see too many of them in this good a shape. Now, granted, you do see lots of these at least where I'm from, these things were everywhere and they were everybody's workhorses. I mean, I have seen these things with the skins literally beat off of them. And you turn that key and this little Ford just jumps to life and says, hey, I'm ready to go work, what's up? So I just wanted to show you a, a nice survivor uh, that's really in really nice shape. I'm telling you, I, I worked at the New Holland dealer for years and you saw all kinds of these 2000s 3000s 4000s 5000s you saw uh 2600s you know the 4600 you've seen all of those none of them were really in this good a shape uh all the ones i saw you know they came from working farms and they had beat the pee out of them so anyway just wanted to show you this one y'all have a great day i appreciate all the follows and the likes and the subscribes and thumbs ups and ringing bells and you know all the social media rigmarole but i do appreciate it so y'all keep following along and i'm gonna keep bringing you old tractors whether you like it or not so y'all have a good day